who is Puddle's Pity Party? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Hello, my name is Kay, and I'm a big fan of Puddles. And if you're just joining us, welcome. There's a lot of us around, and I'm happy you found us. You know, I know a lot of people are coming in right now from AGT Champions. So, uh, and, you know, there's other people that probably your friend shared a video with you, or maybe you stumbled across a video on your own, and you're just trying to figure out who the heck this clown is. Why he has an amazing voice? What is happening? All right. So Puddles is a singing clown from Atlanta, Georgia, and he has garnered internet fame over the past few years due to uh, him working with Postmar Jukebox, and he's had viral videos on his own, and he has been on America's Got Talent twice. Once on season 12, uh, I think it was 2017, and he was on the... 2019 or 2020 version of uh, Champions, which was season two, I think. So, um, first thing is, you know, Puddles, he's from Atlanta, but he was not born there. Puddles was born in a place called River City, and he really hasn't explained where River City is, but According to his Mima, of whom raised him, he was born singing a perfect G2 to G4, and he was born under a wandering star, which explains why he likes to wander, and he was also born with his crown, his poor mother. But, as he grew up, he actually worked on his papa shrimp boat. Papa had a shrimp boat, and Puddles would do little vaudeville shows for the crews, and they would pay him in shrimp, and that's where his love of shrimp cocktail came from. He no longer eats shrimp, though. He's a vegan now. So, and, you know, eventually Papa ended up selling a shrimp boat, and Puddles ended up going away, wandering off. You know, he, uh, he played gigs for pennies, and then he eventually wandered to Atlanta, where he started uh, doing gigs down at the docks for nickels. Puddles eventually wandered into a bar that was ran by someone named Big Mike Geyer, and the two hit it off immediately. Um, it's like they were old friends, so... And then Big Mike Geyer heard Puddles sing. He's like, holy crap, that cat clown can sing. So, what he ended up doing is he ended up introducing uh, Puddles to another clown named the Reverend Uncle Laffo. And they started a band together called Grease Paint. And that's also where Puddles ended up meeting his friend Monkey Zuma. She was a dancing monkey girl. And Puddles kind of grew an affinity to her. And, you know, they did the Grease Paint Band for about four or five years until Puddles decided to leave and Monkey Zuma went with him. And they bombed around with uh, the, uh, there was a burlesque dance troupe. All women. It's called Dames of Flame. And Puddles and Monkey Zuma would bomb around with them. And, you know, they did that for a few years until uh, Big Mike, you know, got news that there was a tour happening um, since he worked at uh, Adult Swim. He told Puddles that there was a tour happening and that they wanted to have him on the tour. So Puddles in 2010 went on the Aqua Teen Hunger Force tour. And he went on with Monkey Zoo. He sang songs and she did her banana bit on stage. And then they were an instant hit. You know, and they did this for several years or whatever. 
Puddles eventually wandered on over to Seattle and worked at a place called Teatro Zanzani, where he would uh, he would do that show. It's kind of a oh, kind of an audience participation circus act slash restaurant slash cool place. But, you know, during this time, Puddles actually also was going to start a movie called Over You. And then, you know, it was around 2013 or so, Monkey Zuma decided she didn't want to be part of the act anymore. And she took off on her own. And Puddles was left by himself. And he also, this is when he ran into Postmodern Jukebox. And he ended up doing a song with Postmodern Jukebox. It was Royals and it instantly went viral. Yeah. Um, and then he was dubbed the set clown with the golden voice. Then, you know, a couple years go by. He did a couple tours in Europe. Did Edinburgh Fringe and stuff. And then he ended up doing America's Good Talent in 2017. Where he made the quarterfinals before he was buzzed and given the pink slip by Simon. Puddles toured around for a little bit more. Surprisingly, somehow befriended Bigfoot. Go figure on that one. But, you know, eventually 2019 rolls around and Puddles ends up being called back on AGT for Champions to do another show. And we arrive at present day. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much Puddles' life in a nutshell. Um... I mean, he has a little personality quirks. He loves onions. I assume that comes from, you know, him being from Georgia, and they're known for their Vidalia onions, but Puddles seems to like Spanish onions. A little bit more pungent than the Vidalia ones. Uh, Puddles loves pie and coffee. And apparently he has a real love of donuts. Yeah. So... That's pretty much it. That's who Puddles is. Um, he does a show called Puddles Pity Party. And it is a completely unique show. It's totally unlike anything you've ever seen before. And it's focused heavily on audience participation and him connecting with fans, fans connecting with him, and the whole shebang. And he loves Kevin Costner for some reason. But anyway, so that's Puddles in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed this video, and you can check out my other videos about him. Alright, peace.